Spider-Man. Yeah. Guys, Spider-Man is coming back to its roots, guys. Oh boy. Welcome back to The Funny Show. I am your host, Mr. Funny, and today we're going to be talking about a few things. Um, uh, about the Spider-Man video game that's coming out in 2018. And the, and the Spider-Man, the new Spider-Man movie that's coming out in 2018, um, the animated one. So I'm very excited to talk, to talk about this, but um, we're also going to talk about a little um, backstory and what Spider-Man's been through, because I've missed this guy. So let's just, let's just get into this video. Let's go. Spider-Man is easily the most popular Marvel character out there. I don't care if yours is um, something else, but it is one of the most popular um, Marvel characters, and by, like, I don't know, freaking, like, if you asked a majority of people, they would most likely say Spider-Man, um, that's my favorite, uh, Marvel superhero. So he's a very popular character, and obviously he's had tons of forms of media, he's had movies, video games, TV shows, comic books, obviously, <laughs> but he's been losing his age, um, a little bit, um, in the past, because, oh boy, there were... Some things that tipped it over, um, first of all, I'm not gonna say that Sony is the problem, because Sony isn't the problem. If you don't know, Sony owns Spider-Man, so that's why it was a huge deal seeing Spider-Man in Civil War, because no one thought that Sony would actually give them the rights to Spider-Man. Um, Sony owns Spider-Man, and that means that, um, that they, they decide what they do with him, and... The first two Spider-Man movies, I think, are what... The first two Spider-Man movies are what gave Sony Spider-Man. Those... Well, no, the first one, because Spider-Man... Marvel needed a budget. They didn't have enough money for the budget. But and Sony took it up. They bought Spider... They took Spider-Man, and they gave it a budget. And that's... That's how Spider-Man came to be the movie. That's when they gained the power to Spider-Man. And now, um... Sony is... Uh, they kind of ruined Spider-Man with, uh, Spider-Man 3, The Amazing Spider-Man, and The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Those movies are all garbage, um, I would not suggest them. I don't think they're good. I don't think they're fun. Um, but Spider-Man has been all over the place, and recently his video games have been, uh, they've been kind of absent recently. I haven't played any Spider-Man video games besides the Disney Infinity thing, obviously, that Spider-Man had. Um, that's really the only Spider-Man game I've ever played, and I don't even think that's a full game. But, Spider-Man has, his games have been absent, and they finally have been picking, um, they finally are making a new Spider-Man game, and this game looks like it's gonna be taking some, uh, some, like, I don't know, maybe some, just, like, parts from uh batman arkham the batman arkham series i hear that is a very popular series <laughs> i tried doing a series on that game i just didn't like it that much so on one of the games i didn't like it that much so <laughs> um but anyways i guess but i hear they're very fun and very popular and the batman um arkham games they are they have a like this distinct combat system that if i looked at a game then I would say that's that's like the Batman Arkham series. I wouldn't say it's like, oh, it's like this style of fighting. No, I would say it's from the Batman Arkham series because they have this style of combat. And when I watched the Spider-Man gameplay trailer today, because I'm kind of I was kind of interested in seeing it, I was really pleasantly surprised because it looks a lot like Batman Arkham, just with web slinging. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I think that's a great thing because. Uh, Spider-Man needs some inspiration because they haven't made a game in a, in a long time. And yes, I know the Disney Infinity, but that's that's a completely different thing from what uh, Batman Arkham does. Um, and so I'm glad they took these inspirational things and just uh, they incorporated it very well. Um, it look the game looks really good actually. It not only the graphics, it the game does look gorgeous, but like just swinging around. Um, it's gonna look really good in HD, um, and it's and it's making me consider buying a PlayStation 4 because it's only on the PlayStation 4. And yes, I know I made that stupid video why I hate the PS4. I'm changing my mind now. Shut up. 
I don't think I'll cut that. It's making me change my mind about the PS4. I really actually am getting interested in playing it. It looks fun. Um, and I'm also just really excited to just like be swinging around New York City because freaking Spider-Man's awesome. And so, um, I think what really tipped off the scale is that fans still love Spider-Man because um, after he appeared in Civil War, everyone went crazy over Tom Holland's performance. And stuff. I know they worked on it before Civil War was released, but I mean, I think they, I think they kind of like maybe saw what they were doing and were like, oh, he's doing, they're doing something right with him. And they were like, you know what, Spider Man? I don't know, freaking. I think Civil War had something to do with them making a new Spider Man game because I'm pretty sure it was revealed in 2016. So don't quote me on that, but I think it was revealed in 2016. I think I remember seeing it in Game Informer or something like that. Regardless, the Spider-Man game looks really, really cool and really, really good, and I'm really excited to be playing it. I said really a lot. Really, really. Tell the boss is here! <laughs> what really made me go ballistic is the new animated Spider-Man trailer. It looks Freaking awesome. This morning I woke up in the fortress of the storm shit. I'm in war with my emotions. The movie looks gorgeous. As you just saw, the animation looks freaking amazing. And freaking, um, the, the, basically what the movie is about is it's, um, it's, this uh, animated movie about Spider-Man, there's multiple Spider-Mans in this universe. It's called Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Um, and it looks freaking amazing because um, the animation, Spider-Man's kind of been a little limited in terms of swinging around because CGI can't make you move around as fluidly as possible because then it would just be really unrealistic and I know this is spider-man but sometimes you it's just it takes you out when it's not realistic but animation has more less limits when it comes to realism so that's kind of better in, in that way because then he can be swinging around more and doing even crazier tricks and that's really what I like about Spider-Man, because he's so agile and just crazy. So, um, I, I, honestly, I'm going to leave a link down in the description for both the gameplay trailer um, for the, for the Spider-Man game and the trailer for the Spider-Man movie, if you guys want to see it, um, by the way. But the thing that really, 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 really surprised me was that um, this trailer came out, I think I saw it Friday, it probably came out like a week ago. Um, but what really surprised me is that it's it came out in December, mid-December. This movie's coming out in December next year. So they got a lot of time to work on stuff, do some reanimations, do some more work. That's probably why the trailer was one minute long, because freaking... Uh, it's still very new, and so I am. I, let me just say, I am all for it. I'm surprised though because December is really Oscar season, if you, if you want to call it that. I call it Oscar season because all the all the crazy movies come out that year. Star Wars, freaking um, shut up. All the Oscar winning movies normally come out in December. I feel like, and so Spider Man coming out in December. I kind of am really surprised by it. It kind of, from the trailer, there's kind of some shots where it looks like it's kind of snowy, so that's weird. But Spider Man's a summer type character. Pretty much every movie, I think every movie at least, has come out in the summer. I know the first two Amazing Spider Man movie. I know the Amazing Spider Man movies came out in the summer. I know Homecoming came out in the summer. Um, I bet your bottom that freaking. Uh, the Spider-Man trilogy also came out in the summer. So for this movie to be coming out in December really surprises me. It doesn't... Spider-Man's not a... He is a family character because he's just spitting jokes left and right. And that uh, appeals to families. But I don't know. Because 
I feel like what they're trying to do is because Sony Pictures Animations are animate is animating this one, and I feel like what they're trying to do is give freaking uh, Sony Animation justice again because this year has really not been good for Sony Animation. Uh, first, um, the star was kind of bored. Was really dumb. It was dumb. The star was weird and dumb, and it just wasn't entertaining. Uh, Smurfs The Lost Village was also not good. It was really, really boring. And the story was just freaking weak as balls. And finally, the Emoji Movie, which is terrible. That movie is not good. I remember talking to Derek, like, freaking the Emoji Movie comes out on Friday. When it was the week it came out, I was like, dude, the Emoji movie comes out on Friday. And he's like, I'm really excited for the Emoji movie. It looks good. And I'm like, shut up. I think what Sony's trying to do is give their animation studio some justice because they need it. They really do need it. And so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I'm really excited for both the game and the movie. Um, I am really freaking excited, actually. It looks awesome. And I hope you guys have a great day. Remember... Like, comment, subscribe where you see. Totally not just stealing from the odd ones out.